In 2011, a Swedish dive team searching for a World War II shipwreck stumbled upon something that shouldn't exist. A 60 meter wide disc sitting 300 feet below the surface in the Baltic Sea. It looks undeniably man-made. Smooth arcs, sharp edges, even what seemed like a staircase, vanishing into the darkness. And the weirdest part? Their sonar went haywire the moment they approached it. Before we give scientists a chance to explain what this might be, we need to rewind, because this mystery is even stranger the deeper you go. The group called themselves Ocean X, a crew of modern-day treasure hunters scanning for lost shipwrecks. Their sonar hit something massive, perfectly circular with what looked like a 300-foot runway leading up to it. As divers descended, their gear began to glitch. Cameras froze, magnetometers spiked, even the boat's satellite phones went dead. Back on deck, they released the sonar image, a round, metallic-looking form sitting in the gloom. Within hours, headlines erupted. UFO at the bottom of the Baltic, alien base discovered beneath the sea. But before we jump into extraterrestrials, remember, there are two stories here, the one the world saw, and the quieter one scientists would uncover years later. First, the case for the conspiracy, because this is weird. The internet ran wild. Alien theorists pointed to the Millennium Falcon-like shape. Ancient civilization buffs said it was the ruins of a temple swallowed by the Ice Age Flood. Some even claimed it was a Nazi superweapon designed and lost in secret. Ocean X didn't help calm things down. They described soot-like scorch marks around the object. Burns from a crash landing, maybe. They spoke of corridors, of walls, and a staircase leading into darkness. Every quote, every grainy sonar image added fuel to the fire. And for a while, it felt like the truth was being buried, literally. But around this point in the story, scientists started to get curious too, and that's where things take an unexpected turn. A few years later, marine geologist Volker Bruchert got his hands on samples from the site, and his conclusion was not otherworldly. The material wasn't metal or concrete. It was glacial rock, mostly sandstone and basalt, likely dragged there by retreating ice sheets about 12,000 years ago. Those clean angles? Just natural fractures in stone, polished smooth by millennia of glacial grinding. The runway? A trench carved by sediment currents. And that electronic interference the divers swore by? Probably just conductivity from cold, brackish Baltic water, the kind that loves to fry old dive gear. But here's where it gets interesting. Even if it is natural, scientists admit the formation's geometry is unusually precise. So why does it look so engineered? Our brains are pattern-hungry machines. They see faces in clouds, shapes in shadows, and alien disks on sonar screens. It's called periidolia, a survival trait that once helped us spot predators, now convincing us we've spotted flying saucers. And in low-resolution sonar images, periidolia runs wild. OceanX's early scans were rough, a few pixels wide, then cleaned up by image software that filled in the blanks. In other words, the Baltic Sea spaceship may have been built not by aliens, but by our own imagination. Still, even skeptics agree. The site is geologically odd, and the symmetry is real. Which leaves one final mystery. If this structure predates the Baltic Sea itself, what was it doing there before the ocean existed? Here's the twist that most people miss. The Baltic Sea is geologically young, only about 10,000 years old. That means that this 60 meter structure existed before the sea flooded the region. It could have been part of the ancient landscape. A hilltop, a rocky dome, maybe even a glacial drumlin, now entombed beneath the waves. And when OceanX returned in 2012, they claimed to find arranged stone patterns nearby. Natural or not, the site does feel engineered, like something designed then reclaimed by time. That's what keeps this story alive, because even after years of analysis, no one has mapped the anomaly in full detail. And as long as the data stays incomplete, imagination will always fill the void. So maybe it's rock, maybe it's ruins, maybe it's something else entirely. But the Baltic Sea anomaly reminds us that beneath the surface of our own planet lies a frontier as mysterious as any in space. We've mapped Mars better than we've mapped the ocean floor. And somewhere down there, a perfectly round shadow still waits. Stay curious, stay current, and thank you so much for watching.